Hey guys, I'm Ganesh Rivan from Brave Records and in this video, I'm going to give you a whole lot of instructions on Pierce University Boys Hostel admission processes. Admission into our boys hostel is a bit tedious process in itself. That's why I decided to make a whole video on that just for you guys. So let's get straight into it. admission processes the steps in the admission processes please do check out my hostel tour which I have provided in the PDF which I have given to you and I have provided the link for that video that itself you check it out PS University Boys Hostel consists of five blocks which are IT block NB block NBX block MM block and IH block PS University Boys Hostel is strict in aspects like attendance, ID cards, taking permission to go homes and everything else which you'll get to know when you come to the hostel. Let's see the fee structure of PS University Boys Hostel. Actually two types of fee structure. One is for the ID block and the other one is for the NB block, NBX and MM blocks. So for the ID block as you can see here there is a caution deposit of 30,000 mess charges makes up 41,000 room rent and maintenance combines to make 64,000 which in total becomes 1,35,000 the new block NBX and MM as I said it has the caution deposit of 30,000 the mess charges makes up around 41,000 the room rent and maintenance it is 79,000 because NB, NBX and MM has attached bathroom systems which in total makes up to 1,50,000 by the way these fee structures are according to the 2020 to 2021 academic year so please keep that in mind and let's see the procedural aspects as to how to make the payment the payment can be made via three ways which is one dd or neft or rtgs for dd you have to draw the dd in the name of peso boys hostel which is payable at time Lord. and after making the payment via neft or rtgs you have to send the payment details to peso bh warden which is the warden of boys hostel uh, through mail that's why i have provided you guys the mail id of the warden in this pdf so if payment is made through dd in person at the hostel the receipt would be given after confirming the payment and if payment is made through in neft or rtgs the hostel office will send you the receipt via mail after confirming the payment from the union bank of india Normally, the students would receive the receipts and acknowledgements within the three or four working days. Let's actually look at the main part, which is the admission processes, the steps to take in order to get the admissions. First step is to meet the warden or the manager of the hostel and get the details about the hostel, hostel registration forms, etc. Whereas the step two uh, is to register your name and other details in the warden office and you guys have to pay 100 rupees and acquire a registration form and the step 3 which is a very very important step and a very unique step for any hostel in Bangalore is to identify a local guardian who stays in Bangalore and whose age is around 35 years to 50 years and introduce the local guardian to the, ho to the hostel warden or the manager of the hostel look as I told you guys, the process of admission into this particular hostel is a bit tedious process in case you do not provide the proper documents. What are the documents which are required for this hostel admission? I'll mention those for you guys in the next few minutes. This, the admission process into the PS Boys Hostel is tedious mainly because you have to attend a 3-hour seminar before the admission processes with your local guardian. That's a very, very mandatory step because you'll be provided with tokens after you attend these sessions. These tokens have to be provided during the admission processes along with the documents which you have brought. Please make sure to bring all the required documents before coming to the hostel. Otherwise, the admission process can take up to two to three days. So let's see the documents to be submitted during the admission processes. First one is the acknowledgement or the receipt which you have obtained after making the payment through the DD or RTGS or NIFT. 
So the second document is a duly filled application form, which I told you guys to receive during the step two. While we were talking about the step two in the admission processes, you have to take that admission or the registration form from the hostel warden paying 100 rupees and you guys have to fill that. So the third document is the affidavit, which actually speaks about the ragging. And this step is in order to control the ragging in PS Boys Hostel. This affidavit is to be given by both student and the parent, each on a separate stamp paper of rupees 20 through a notary. Okay, then self attested photocopy of the TC of the transfer certificate or the character certificate issued from the institution's last study. Photocopy of the admission slip or the fee paid receipt given by the college when a student got admitted at PS for the academic year 2020 to 2021. Then you have to carry a couple of passport size photos. So a few extra points to consider before going to the admissions. So you have to carry two locks, one for your wardrobe and one for the room. And the second point is the, the minimum materials to be brought includes bedding, a plastic mug, a plastic bucket of 20 liters and a table lamp. It is said that no electrical appliances such as kettle, iron box should be used, should be brought. But of course, you guys know what to do about that. So allotment of room in the hostel would be done in two stages. So the stage one consists of the stage one is called as the temporary room allotments. On providing the acknowledgement slips and all the documents to be submitted, your admissions, your admission process will be completed and you'll be allotted a room which is actually temporary in nature. After staying there, staying in that room for about three weeks, you can select your friends, your classmates or whoever you are comfortable with for the permanent room allotment which is the stage two. On the day of the permanent room allotment, this is a very important point, student will not be given permission to go home to LG zones or anywhere because as I've said, as I've mentioned, the room shifting should take place within one day, within the specified hours only. So these were the admission processes, the fee details, the documents to be submitted and the allotment process. Please make sure to carry all the documents beforehand so that your admission process would go flawless. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'm Ganesh Rivant, signing off.